Yo guys, what's up? Today we are going to be talking about BMX Streets. Not Pipe, but uh, BMX Streets, you know, like the full game or the successor to Pipe. And unfortunately, no, we don't have a release date, but we actually do have a better idea of when we might see BMX Streets, which is like super exciting. So yeah, MASH Games, the developer of BMX Streets, actually just created a new Discord server uh, for BMX Streets. He had one for Pipe, and he's made a fresh one for BMX Streets. Now, I'm not going to be posting a link to this Discord server immediately, just because it's brand new, and there's no moderators in there. And the last thing I want is to share the Discord server, and to have someone join and just, I don't know, spam a bunch of stuff that nobody wants to see. But as soon as there's some moderators in there, I will leave a pinned comment. Uh, with a link to join the discord server and yeah mash was in there and he was talking to some people from the community and myself and basically he has said that bmx streets is i mean basically done he's saying that all that's left to do is the actual world creation or the main map is not finished and still needs work i mean the game is basically done all that's left to do is finish making this map and then getting it published to steam and xbox and playstation I didn't bother asking about a release date because, um, I mean, if you guys are familiar with MASH games and people asking him about release dates, he, he'll just always say he's not sure uh, or he'll give like a really rough estimate of like, yeah, maybe by the end of the year or something along those lines. So I didn't ask him for a release date, but I did ask him if he thought the game would be out uh, either before or after Riders Republic adds their BMX DLC. So that's kind of rumored to come out probably around the summer of 2022. And MASH Games responded that it's probably going to come out after that. So I think it's pretty safe to say that at the very least by this time next year or fall of next year, we will have BMX Streets, which is pretty exciting. And obviously the first place you're ever going to see a release date is from him. And you if you're not following him on his Instagram, definitely go give him a follow. It's probably up on the screen right now. You can also see some posts uh, that he's put up of uh, BMX Streets and some little sneak peeks. And in the Discord, he's also put a couple sneak peeks in. I'll, I'll add a, a clip here of him showing some pumping physics. Uh, you can actually pump while carving flat ground. And I'm sure there's probably some of you that are looking at this and being like, you know, what is the point of showing us this? And yeah, if you're a rider, I mean, you'll totally understand this. I mean, just the level of detail and realism that seems to be going into this game is just, it's its so exciting to see. Like, this is what, I mean, MASH Games is a rider, so I mean, this game is an actual by rider for riders game. And I mean, that just gets me so hyped. It's, it's especially funny after playing Riders Republic. And you know, it's a great game. It's super fun. But there's just so many things that they definitely missed with the game, like launching a game that's primary focus, in my opinion, is the bike riding and not having something like wheelies or manuals in the game. And so to just see this and just the level of detail that he is, he's really gone with is, is just so exciting and, and really awesome to see. Also throw up another clip real quick and let me get off the bike. Uh, he actually showed the player model kind of just standing and I think it was like a position like this. And I mean, you can just see side by side the differences uh, of the game. You can just see obviously a huge difference when it comes to detail and just the liveliness of the character in BMX Streets, which obviously is kind of to be expected. He's been working on this for like the last four years. Pipe came out four years ago in December, so... Obviously, he's put a lot of hard work into this game, and it's it's clearly paying off. There's no doubt in my mind that everybody's expectations will be met when BMX Streets comes out. And so, yeah, what, what can we expect to see from BMX Streets? Um, I think it's really just going to be a, a hugely upgraded version from this, right? So on Pipe, you know, we've got the Pipe map, we've got Training Ground the mod map and then there's the community center and the community center is by far the biggest and in my opinion the best map in pipe but bmx streets is going to be a little different there's not going to be you know four maps essentially there's going to be one huge open world and you can kind of see that in some of his uh clips that he's uploaded and from the looks of it the world is going to be absolutely massive and i mean something he kind of teased 
a while ago uh, that kind of confirmed this was uh, he, he teased uh, the character riding a dirt bike around on his Instagram. And I know in the comments, a lot of people were either confused or just stoked to see just another vehicle added in game. But I mean, the first thing I thought of, you know, why do most open world games add vehicles? And, you know, nine times out of 10, the reason that the vehicles are in game is, you know, not as a fun thing to do. They, they usually serve some sort of function in the game. And, you know, I believe, at least for BMX Streets, the reason why there's a dirt bike in the game is because the map is so huge that you're going to need a faster way to get around the map. Now, that is that is purely just my thoughts and opinion on that. I could be completely wrong with that. Maybe he's simply adding a dirt bike just for fun. Uh, maybe the dirt bike's not even in the game, and that was just something he was messing around with while creating the game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the world is looking like it is going to be huge, which is so cool. Not only huge, but, like, beautiful. Like, some of the clips he's posted, like, the world looks stunning. So, yeah, what do I expect in BMX Streets from this? I mean, obviously, the game is going to have updated physics, which is really exciting. Obviously, we got a little glimpse of that with that clip of him pumping flat ground, which is just so cool. Something people are going to want is bike and character customization. I have no doubt in the world that there is going to be bike customization. But from what we've seen, he's usually got the same character in his videos. So I don't know if you're going to have your own custom character. From the looks of it, you're going to be playing as... MASH. Like that character that he's showing you is, is actually him. That's a... 3D model scan of him, which is cool. I mean, he's a handsome guy. You know, I got no problems playing as him, but it'll be interesting to see if, if they do any sort of character customization. Uh, if not, at least being able to customize maybe the clothing on him would be awesome. Now, when it comes to the actual bike gameplay, uh, really all I want is just see, I mean, obviously we're going to see better animations. The game just looks a thousand times better than Pipe. Graphically, I mean, it looks like we've gone from a PS2 game to, you know, next-gen ps5 graphics with like ray tracing and stuff <laughs> which is just so cool um but yeah when it comes to the actual bike riding i mean some things that we really wanted to see like there's some modded tricks in here like whiplashes and hang fives um obviously we have foot jam tail whips as a mod um which he's already kind of showed as being a trick uh, on his instagram but yeah really i'm just excited to get in bmx streets and explore that open world I mean, that's that's going to be so awesome. We know that there's a replay editor in the game. He's already teased that on his Instagram as well, which is going to be huge. I mean, that is by far the one and only thing that I wish this game had was a good replay editor. And pretty much all that I would want to see in a replay editor is obviously keyframes, which you can kind of see he has in one of his Instagram posts, but also uh, being able to change the focal length of the, the camera and keyframe that, like in Skater XL, like I think that is a huge must, um, and just really allows you to film things so much more realistic, right? And again, I don't think anybody's gonna be disappointed. I mean, obviously there's gonna be some people that are gonna complain about the most ridiculous things like they do in every game, but yeah, I'm just, I'm hyped to see it. I know a lot of people probably thought that maybe he wasn't working on it or it was abandoning you know, the game just because of how inactive he is online. But I mean, pretty much it all just comes down to he's he's just like the main guy working on the game and he's just been busy, which is why you don't really see him very active online. I would love to see some comments from you guys. Uh, just, you know, what you're most excited to see slash do in BMX streets. Um, and yeah, it looks like we are less than a year away. Um, and I thought I would just make this little video kind of showing you guys a couple clips from the discord like i said earlier i'm not going to leave a link to the discord until it's set up a little bit more multiplayer will be a thing in bmx streets he's kind of said it a couple times now but it's not something that's probably going to be on launch he wants to make sure that the multiplayer experience is, is going to be something really good so he wants to put quite a bit of time into it and make sure it's set up good for us you know if you guys haven't realized by now, but he's he's a little bit of a perfectionist, uh, which, you know, I think a lot of us appreciate because, I mean, that's how we're going to get one of the best BMX games ever created. Cool. And I think on that note, that's that's pretty much it. As soon as I get any more interesting details or news or anything I can share with you guys, then, you know, I'll always let you know. And until then, we're just going to keep on gaming and having a good time. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.